Hey fangirls, welcome to part one of my haul video series on everything I bought at Tokyo Disney Resort, Shanghai Disney Resort, and miscellaneous Disney related purchases that I made at the Disney store or in other shops around China and Japan. So today we're going to be talking about all the stuff that I bought at Tokyo Disney Resort, including things that I bought at Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Disney Sea, and at their Bon Voyage store, which is located by the JR Maihama station, which is the subway station that connects you to the rest of Tokyo. And it's kind of also at the entrance to Xperi, which is their Disney Springs downtown Disney area. So let's get started because I bought a lot of stuff. I actually showed a lot of restraint because I could have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars easily. So um, we did buy some things with you know, regular characters like Mickey and Pooh on it, but we tried to buy stuff that was really exclusive to Tokyo or had special Tokyo memories. Um, and they have a lot of rare character merch there too, so we bought some of that. So let's just get started. Um, this bow is part of the Happily Ever After, or Happiest Celebration, uh, 35th anniversary celebrations that they're having at Tokyo Disneyland right now. Um, and this one, they had different bows themed for every character. This one's for Minnie. I just love these little like confetti streamers at the bottom of it. Um, it's actually meant to be, they were selling these as kind of like a bow tie that you would put on. Um, so it has like a strap around it, but it also has a little clip like you'd find on interchangeable ears. So you don't have to use that little strap. You could use that um, as a bow for your interchangeable ears. This is actually is a, a present for a friend of mine who loves her interchangeable bow ears. So that's the first thing I bought. A lot of these things are presents. So I actually am filming this video like two days after getting back, but before Christmas, and I'm not putting it up till after Christmas because I want people to still be surprised by their gifts. Um, so here are a couple cute things that we bought. Um, Winnie the Pooh books for children. Um, they, they, there's just two different ones. This one is kind of like interactive and it has kind of like some cutouts and then you, you can see more as you go through the book. And this one, um, is all, I think it's all about foods. Yeah. Honey and eggs and it teaches you lots of things like that. I thought it was really cute and a bunch of our friends have little kids who are little junior world travelers so I thought it would be fun for them to have a book in Japanese and they can follow along with the pictures even though they won't be able to read the kanji. Um, this is something really cool and seasonal and like I'll probably never get to get this stuff again because I doubt that I will ever go back to Tokyo Disney Resort at the exact same time of year um, but I mean, I would because it was great, uh, who knows, but I'm sure we'll be traveling to Japan at other times of year because we like to explore countries in different seasons. So these stickers, they're so beautiful. I actually got two packs so that I could use one pack and just like keep one pack because I'm a pack rat like that. Um, so it's uh, Daruma dolls are these little red dolls. These ones happen to be Mickeyified, um, but these little red dolls that they have in Japan. If you've been to Epcot during uh, Ep Epcot International Festival of the Holidays and gone to the Japan Pavilion, you might have heard the storyteller there tell about Daruma dolls. But basically, they're like little good luck dolls. And when you get one, they don't have um, any like they have blank eyes, and you fill in one of the eyes, you draw in the eye, uh, only one, and then you make a wish, and then when your wish comes true, you fill in the other one. Um, so there's a lot of like Daruma themed merchandise um, and Pumbaa's feature this year because it's the year of the pig. So um, there's a lot of Pumbaa, Pumbaa themed things. So really, really cute. Really loved it. Um, and we got a lot of Daruma stuff. It's all mixed in here. So I'll, I'll get to all of it eventually. Um, something else that we bought a lot of was snow snow merch if you don't know what snow snows are they are little uh mickey mini pluto whoever themed snowmen and they're super cute so i got this plate they're, they do a lot of things in tokyo disney where you like buy a dessert and it comes with a cup or a plate or something um so i had a chocolate raspberry cake and i only i mean the cake was okay but i only bought the cake because i really wanted this plate and you can't just buy the plate so that is my new little snow snow plate um hopping back to winnie the pooh stuff for a second look at these teeny tiny baby socks they're so adorable i love them so much um, actually the day that I bought these, uh, one of our friends had a baby and so I bought them for her. Um, and I, they'll probably be a little bit too big for a while. 
Um, it was very hard for me to tell what sizes things actually were in Japan versus North American sizing. So that's okay though, she'll grow into them and I bought them on the day she was born. So pretty cute. Um, also part of the 30th anniversary celebrations, I got this uh, 35th happiest celebration pen. Um, for those of you who know me, I love these uh, like thick four click pens. You probably remember them from school. Um, so this is a four click pen and it's Disney and it has a little Mickey on top. So I couldn't say no to that now, could I? No, I could not. Uh, what else? Oh, we got these beautiful postcards. Um, one's black, one's white, but they're the same uh, for Tokyo Disney Resort. I'll just show one to you there, all those little details. Uh, we didn't actually get a chance to send these to anyone while we were there, but I, we might just keep them as like a nice little souvenir. Maybe I'll send one or two of them off. Who knows? Um, oh, this was really nice. They had a lot of um, like more traditional Japanese gifts. So Omiyagi is a Japanese principle of when you travel, um, you bring back a little something that people can have to kind of share in the memories of your trip. So it might be a little um, like tea or a little edible candy or cookie, or sometimes bath salts are really popular. Um, people don't have a lot of space in their homes in Japan. So you don't typically gift a lot of non-consumable items um, because there's just no space to keep them. So these kinds of things are really popular. And there was a bunch of items like this at Tokyo Disney that had beautiful, like traditional Japanese style packaging. So here is a beautiful container of bath salts. I don't know what uh, scent it is. I can't really smell it through the thing. Um, I think it's probably in a plastic bag inside of here, but the packaging is just gorgeous. So I can't wait to use those. We actually weren't sure if it was tea or if it was bath salts. And so we had to ask somebody, we're like, is it tea? And they were like, no, 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 smell nice in the bath. And I was like, got it, got it. Um, I got this uh, picture frame that I'm totally in love with. I saw it on our very first night when we were at Bon Voyage and I debated buying it the whole time because I was worried that it would break coming home. But it's just like, so like beautiful and delicate and girly and I just love it. Just fangirl, love it. Um, oh, we got a bunch of these cute sticky note packs. Um, they're themed to Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea, if you can see them right there. Um, so I'm gonna keep a set, but I got a bunch of gifts. Uh, I think that they're really, really cute and very unique to Tokyo Disney, obviously, since it's the parks featured there. Stationery is hugely popular in Japan as well, um, like in general, but also as these Omiyagi gifts, because you can use it. Um, so I got these food themed, uh, uh, notebooks that are all uh, featuring really popular foods at Tokyo Disney Sea. So I'll be doing separate video and blog posts and whatever, all about all the foods that we ate. Um, you can see a lot of the foods that we ate if you go over to our Instagram account. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to remember all those foods with some nice little notebooks. Now this is very cute. It's a tiny little, it's not Hot Wheels brand, it's a different brand. I think it might be Tamika brand, um, but it's basically a little Hot Wheels and it's themed like the monorail. Now the monorail at Tokyo Disney has little uh, Mickey shaped windows, which is really, really cute. Um, so I had to pick up one of those. I also got this Tokyo Disneyland magnet. Um, I thought it was really, really cute. And you can never have too many magnets, right? Um, oh, some more, some more little, little sockies, again, for, for little, little kids that my friends have. Um, these ones are uh, Happy as a Rainbow. There was a whole bunch of Happy as a Rainbow merch. Um, oh, actually, I also got these super cute erasers pack of erasers that you can give out to different people um, that are also happy as a rainbow. So uh, I just thought they were too cute. I actually got an adult size pair of these for myself as well. Um, so really adorable. And on the monorail topic, these little baby monorail socks, adorable. They had the cutest stuff like for adults, for kids, so much. I actually didn't buy myself any clothes there uh, because Japanese sizing is very different than American sizing. And I wasn't sure what was gonna fit or not fit. And a lot of the 
I would have tried things on, but a lot of the clothes that was out right now was for winter in Japan, which is very different than winter in Florida or California. So it like puffy vests and like really thick hoodies and stuff. And while I can use those at home, I really wanted stuff that I could wear in the parks. So um, I didn't get so much to wear. Uh, I did get lots of snacks though. And here's another one. Um, so this is a container of chocolate crunch. Chocolate crunch are like little crispy chocolate treats that's really, really popular um, in Japan. And they sell them at Tokyo Disney. And as part of the 35th anniversary celebrations, they had like a pop-up shop set up um, that was all chocolate crunch themed. And you could pick a different container. You could pick your container, your lid, your ribbon, and then you got to pick 18 pieces of chocolate crunch to go inside. So um, I'll show you what the little packages look like. They look like this. Um, I, we got strawberry, uh, strawberry shortcake, I think chocolate caramel, milk chocolate, white chocolate, and cappuccino. And I think we got three pieces of each. Um, so I'm really excited to dig into those. We have so many treats from uh, Disney and our general Japan travels that we've been like slowly working our way through them. Uh, oh, this is cute. So if you see, saw any of my reporting, you know how much I love um, Chandu, the cute little tiger from uh, Sinbad's storybook adventure voyage. I'll have to look that up for you. Um, but he's so, so cute. And I really wanted a plush of him and they were all sold out except for these huge plushes. That there was no way we could bring back in our luggage. And so it was so, so sad because I just wanted like a little, little Chandu plush to snuggle with. So I didn't get one. So I got this keychain instead. Next time, next time. We actually got a lot of keychains, which is very uh, unusual for us because my husband has like a zero things hanging off his keys policy. Um, but the reason we got so many is because in Tokyo Disney, you kind of adorn your backpack or your fanny pack or your jacket or whatever with a bunch of like tiny keychain plushes and uh, other keychain things. So you're going to see a lot of keychains. Um, this one is really cute. It's a little bowl of ramen with a little bowl of like, um, or a little bottle of uh, spicy topping called uh, shishimi togarashi. There's not actually anything in this little bottle. It's just meant to look like it. But if you look really closely, like you can see the broth and the noodles and the vegetables and a little egg with a Mickey in it. And yes, they do make little eggs with Mickeys in them that they serve with the food there. Um, so uh, little tempura shrimp, really, really cute. Um, the second food related keychain that we got is this adorable little sushi set uh so you can see you can see a little um mickey uh tamago there uh some little mickey and mini makis and then some more regular sushi and a little cup of green tea to go with your sushi and i think there's a yeah there's a hidden mickey right right there I don't know if that's totally hidden because he's on the side of the cup and it's pretty obvious, but I didn't notice it at first. So it was a hidden Mickey for me. We also got this food themed keychain. Um, so popcorn and popcorn buckets are huge at Tokyo Disney, um, but the popcorn buckets are very large and they're plastic. So you can't like squish them up or anything. So we didn't buy one to bring home because there was just no room in our luggage. Um, but this was my husband Danny's favorite popcorn bucket that we saw is a little Buzz Lightyear. So we got this mini popcorn bucket uh, keychain and it comes with these very realistic looking popcorns. Um, and if you, a few of them, if you look, you can see Buzz Lightyear's face. Um, what else? Oh, this is Emperor Zerk. So really, really, really adorable uh, little souvenir to remember all your popcorn fun. We really enjoyed the popcorn there. Well, we had four flavors, three of the four we really liked. The fourth one, not so much. Um, of course, I couldn't not get pins. So we got a Tokyo Disney land pin and a Tokyo Disney sea pin. Um, there's not a ton of, there were more pins in Shanghai, but they were mostly just characters, not really um, uh, specific to the park for the most part. Um, but there were not a lot of pins in uh, Tokyo Disney. So we got what we could. Um, what we could get was a lot of adorable little pens and stuff. So these are just like tiny, tiny little, I think that they're ballpoint pens. Yeah, they click open. Um, but look, it's a little tiny chip and a little tiny Dale. And they're so small, like they're 
they're like the size of my finger so like half or less of a regular pen really tiny really cute I can't wait to use those uh, we also got something that should be very familiar to those of you who frequent the American parts which is souvenir pennies um, what's interesting though is you don't actually um, give it a penny to press you just give your money and you pick the design that you want and there's uh, little plain sheets of metal that the machine is already equipped with so they make really shiny pressed pennies for you because they're not like whatever old grungy penny you have in your pocket and they're not pre-printed um so I know some of my pennies have like a shadow of um <laughs> you know the president on them um so that doesn't that doesn't happen there so this one is a Tokyo Disneyland uh this one is Tokyo Disney Sea and the monorail and this one is my favorite because snow snows we had to get something that was seasonal for when we were visiting because who knows if we'll ever be back at christmas time again i hope we are because it was amazing at christmas time but i'd like to see it at other times of the year too of course um so here's another little snacky treat thing that we got um tokyo banana is a little like snack cake um shaped like a banana and with a little filling and they're they have different flavors the regular like the original tokyo banana is just um, like a banana sponge cake with a banana filling and that's all. But they had these special ones at the Tokyo Disney Resort, which are printed with little Mickeys and they have a banana caramel filling. And so we had to, we had to pick them up. Uh, what's really interesting about Tokyo Banana is it's only really sold, um, at airports and train stations. And I guess now at Disney, um, well, they only had the Disney variety, not all, all the other flavors. Um, and it looks like this. So you can't just get them anywhere in Tokyo, but you can only get them in Tokyo and at these designated spots. Um, and you have to eat them within a few days. So I actually have to have a little snack of this one later because I think I only have a day left before they expire. They have about a week to 10 day shelf life. Um, so we had to get that because it was very original. Um, this is a baseball hat that was part of the Mickey 90th celebration, birthday celebration um, thing. It is a really nice um, fabric and on the underside of the brim it says uh, 1942 Mickey's birthday party. Um, so there was a lot of merch that was celebrating different years of Mickey's birthday parties and they had um, different designs so I guess this was Mickey's birthday outfit in 1942. Um, so there you go. Now, as I mentioned with the snow snow plate, there are a lot of things where you get like a souvenir plate or a cup or something along with your snack. Um, so one of the things that we were able to get was this super adorable, I think it's a, oh yeah, it is. It's a cooler bag inside. This super adorable, it's a small world lunch bag, although I will probably not use it for a lunch bag since I work from home. Um, so I would just have to carry my food from the kitchen across the hall to my office. I'll use it for something else though. Isn't it beautiful? Now this is part of the 35th anniversary celebrations also because they just refurbished It's a Small World at Tokyo Disneyland. Look at the bottom. And they added in um, all sorts of characters, um, much like at Disneyland in California where they have characters integrated into It's a Small World in the various countries. Um, now they have that at Tokyo Disney. And I think they actually have more characters at Tokyo Disney. So this was so beautiful. I definitely had to get this along with my pizza. It was a It's a Small World pizza. And it said that it was beef and avocado flavor, which is true, but there was also broccoli and an egg on it. And that all sounds super weird and gross and it was delicious. So uh, don't knock it till you try it when it comes to pizza in Japan. Um, along with those little baby socks I showed you earlier, I got this adorable Winnie the Pooh bib with a, with a tiny little bee on it. Just so cute, I couldn't say no. And we also, if you remember those food themed notebooks, we also got this food themed towel. Um, we haven't unpackaged it yet, but it has all these foods on it um, because towels are really, really popular gifts in Japan. Uh, people uh, carry towels with them all the time. A lot of the restrooms don't have towels to use um, or like paper towels or hand dryers. So people carry towels with them all the time and it gets really hot in the summer. So people have towels to like dab themselves off with. Um, 
So we we had to buy a we had to buy a towel, and what better towel than a food towel? Something else we bought, and we bought a lot of this is plushes. There were so many plushes to buy in Tokyo Disney, and I I had a hard time saying no. So this is my snow snow. Um, this is a mini snow snow. She's really cute. You, she has these little buttons, and they actually say uh, Disney snow snow on them. Really 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 tiny. Um, she has this beautiful cape with a bow. Um, she's got this like nice little fluffy hood and a little diamond, I guess, or a crown coming coming off of that. Um, little, little eyelashes, little blush, so cute. And she has a little snowflake on the bottom. Um, she, I think she has a little bit of bean bag at the bottom too, so she's weighted so she doesn't fall over. She's super, super cute and I love her so much. Um, they actually had a station where you could design your own snow snow. Um, so you would pick um, different elements like what their hat was or their um, bow or their their outfit or whatever and then you could actually have like your initial put on their ear um which I almost did but she was like twice the size of those little snow snows and like a third of the price because she was on sale that's the thing about Tokyo Disney there was so much stuff on sale I've never seen stuff on sale at a Disney park before um so I opted for the non-customized snow snow to make the best use of my vacation dollars where is my other little snow snow? Oh, here we go. So this is a little keychain snow snow. This one's Mickey. He has a little button too, and he's got a little bow tie and a little hat and little cheeks. Um, and I wore this on my jacket. I got it the very first day I wore it on my jacket the whole time. Um, and I got actually another Mickey keychain that was also on my jacket, um, which is this. It's This is Mickey in his 35th uh, anniversary happiest celebration outfit. And he's full of what they call sweet topping. It's it's sprinkles, but they're they're really shiny, pretty sprinkles. I don't know if I can actually open this, but you turn it and then you can pour the sprinkles out onto stuff. I actually haven't used any of the sprinkles on anything yet. Um, but I, if you know me, I love sprinkles. Um, so my husband surprised me with that because he thought, oh, Steph would love to put some sprinkles on something from a Mickey. And he was right. Um, speaking of the 35th uh, happiest celebration, we got these awesome lanyards. Uh, you can't buy these, but one morning we were uh, on, uh, well, it's not Main Street USA, it's called World Bazaar, but we were on World Bazaar and we were kind of getting, we had done some shopping, we were getting some things organized and a cast member came up to us and asked uh, where we were from and if we were having a good time and like how many times had we visited Tokyo Disney Sea? And then she asked if she could take a photo of us and we said, yeah, we're having a great time. Of course you can take a photo of us. And then she asked us if we like popcorn and we said, of course, it's delicious. Um, and she took us aside and she said, I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna give you each a free popcorn. So she wrote us a certificate so we could each get a popcorn um, later in the day and we could go anywhere in the park. So uh, we got one from Pooh's Honey Hunt, honey flavored popcorn and one in Western Land, which is like Frontierland, um, that was curry flavored popcorn. Or maybe it was adventure. It was like on the Adventureland, Western Land, uh, where they meet up. So I don't know which land it was technically in, but it was really good. Um, and she gave us these beautiful lanyards and she took a picture with us. I'll put it up right here. Um, she took a picture with us to show how happy we were. And it was like such a nice, special memory. Um, I told you earlier that they had some rare character merch. So here is the first one that I'm going to show you. These are Aristocats. Uh, little tiny plushes. So Marie is not that rare. She's pretty popular in the States. Um, but Toulouse and Berlioz, uh, you can almost never find merch with them on it. So I got I got these cute little, they're technically keychains or backpack adornments. They have a little safety pin and a little like chain, but you could take those off and just have them as plushes to play around uh, for your little ones. And I got another pack of semi-rare characters. Um, this is Chip and Dale, who we all know and love. And look at their little tails! Uh, but also with their girl pal, Clarice. You never see Clarice in the States, so it's really nice that they have some merch for her at Tokyo. So remember how I told you that they redid Small World recently and added characters in? Well, they came out with a line of little plush dolls themed to that. So I got a couple. This one is Moana and this one is Rapunzel. So cute, right? Look at those little flowers. Um, you almost never see Moana merch like 
there's very little Moana merchant, especially at Tokyo Disney. So this was the only thing I could find. Um, but uh, of Moana, there were a bunch of things of Pua and who doesn't love Pua? I sure do. Um, and Rapunzel, who's my favorite. So it was really great to get something of that. And speaking of Pua, here he is, another little Pua. So, so cute. Um, again, he is kind of a keychain, but you would easily take that off if you didn't want to use it as a keychain. What else? Oh, another plush. This is my hamburger purse. They actually call it a pass holder. It has like a slot back here for your park ticket and also um, a little tiny zip pouch. And also, I guess if you have something that you want attached to it and like have a bungee cable kind of thing. Um, so I wore this around because they have legacy fast pass. And so you have to constantly be taking out your tickets and your fast pass and your monorail pass and all sorts of stuff. So this was really, really helpful. Um, I had a really hard time deciding which one because they have a lot to choose from. Um, also, speaking of rare characters, you know, Miss Bunny, Thumper's girlfriend in Bambi? Well, they had a lot of Miss Bunny stuff. So I got this adorable headband, little bunny ears, little floppy bunny ears, her little signature flower, um, and her little bunny tail. And then you can just, you just wear it. So cute and fluffy. I love it so much. And, oh, a few more plushes. I got this little Winnie the Pooh for my cousin who just had a baby. Um, and, uh, we were looking for a very, very tiny, tiny Winnie the Pooh. So I've been looking all over here and I can't, couldn't find one. So I finally found one when we were at Tokyo. Also, remember how I mentioned Chandu? I couldn't get the big plush, but I got this little, little tiny plush and I love him so much. I might put him on my Christmas tree. I might keep him out year round. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? So cute, little tiny Chandu. And finally, my last plush, and actually I think my last souvenir from Tokyo Disney, um, this little Stella Lou, she also clipped my jacket while I was there. Um, Stella Lou, if you don't know, she's one of Duffy's friends. Um, she's a ballerina and uh, she also, she has the pin and the little keychain. Um, but Duffy is huge at Tokyo Disney Sea. It's like the Duffy exclusive park where you get all the Duffy stuff. So there's Duffy and Shelly Mae and Gelatoni and Stella Lou and more merch than you can imagine, all themed to these Duffy and Friends characters. And so I had to get something to remember Tokyo Disney Sea by, and Stella Lou is my favorite of the Duffy pals, so I got her. So that's it for my first installment of the uh, merch series of my haul videos from my recent trip to Japan and China. Um, the next video will be on things that I bought at Shanghai Disney and the final video will be on things that I bought at um, Shanghai Disney Store and Disney Store in Japan and just other random little things I picked up on my travels. So thanks so much for watching. I can't wait for you to see the next installments and until next time, keep living the magic. Bye!